Okay, so this is part two of the number plane, looking at the Cartesian plane. And obviously our Cartesian plane this time around is a lot bigger. So we have, on here, we have um, negatives as well. So in the first lesson, we were just looking at this top right quadrant, whereas this time we're looking at the other three quadrants as well, okay? And they include negative numbers. So X extends from the origin to the left and some negatives. Likewise, y extends um, below the origin into negatives as well. So let's have a look at plotting points first. Um, once again, you need to make sure that you crawl before you climb up or down, okay? So we're gonna plot point A and we're going to start at negative two. So here we are on our axis, x axis, sorry and we're going to go to negative two, and then we've got to come down to negative three. So this is where I'm going to put point A. Okay, that's where A lives. Now, B, um, we start at four. So let's have a look at our x-axis. We crawl along to four, here we are. And now we need to go down to negative four, and negative four, that's where it's going to go there. So that is point B, okay? And then finally, we've got six, sorry, point C, and we've got five on the x-axis and then zero, okay? So that means that our point C, we would put a C right there. I'm not gonna put it on the line though. What I'll do is I'll draw an arrow. I just don't want it to, um, to rub out and make a mess while we're going through everything else, okay? So that's plotting points. And you would do the same thing if you were trying to um, identify where points are. So if the question asks, Write down where points A, B, and C are, you would look. You would go, okay, x-axis, negative two, y-axis, negative three, okay? So you always start with the x-axis first, all right? Crawl before you climb. Okay, next we have um, some tables, okay? We talked about tables in the, the previous lesson. You're going to see them a little bit in the future. And basically what we need to do is we need to plot these points over here on to our Cartesian plane. Okay, so our first point here, we're starting at two and negative three. So two, negative three, and I'm just gonna put in a dot, okay? Next one, one and negative two. Okay, one and negative two, okay? Next one, zero and negative one. Okay, so zero and negative one, so that's where it goes. Time to make a mess of my table. Uh, negative one and zero, okay? So negative one and zero on the y-axis, okay? So obviously the y-axis, that's where the origin is, okay? So that's where we are. Um, negative, we've done that one, negative two and one. So negative two and one, here we are there. Now, so that gives us a nice clear indication of our table. And sometimes you've got a question of what is happening to each point as the table is progressing. Okay, what is happening to each point as the table is progressing? And you could look at it and you could say, okay, well, what's happening is every single step, X is going down by one. We can see a pattern, two, one, zero, negative one, negative two. Okay, so X is reducing by one. However, Y is increasing by one. We started at negative three and we went to negative two, negative one, zero, one. So, that is what your answer would be if they had said, please uh, investigate what is happening um, as, the, um, as our points progress. So you could say X is reducing by one, okay, and Y is increasing by one each time. Okay, so that is part two of the Cartesian plane. Um, hopefully that makes a little bit of sense to you. Um, and we will be revisiting this, um, and you will be revisiting this in the years to come.